The Great Sphinx is among the Earth's greatest cultural mysteries. In the 1930s, self-styled prophet Edgar Cayce predicted that the secrets of the Sphinx would be revealed sometime in the 1990s. And Cayce, it turns out, may have been right. 10,500 BC, this is when the Sphinx is gazing directly at his own image, the constellation of Leo. And if we are to turn 90 degrees and face due south, we would see the three stars of Orion's belt in a pattern that mimics exactly the pattern of the pyramid on the ground. So we have here a perfect conjunction taking place only and only in 10,500 BC. But history books teach us that in 10,500 BC, our human ancestors were still in a primitive state incapable of the advanced astronomical and engineering skills necessary to build great monuments. We're suggesting that the entire foundation on which our notion of human history rests is faulty. I'm Mark Lehner and I'm here at the Great Sphinx of Giza on behalf of Dr. Zahi Hawass, helping him out um, on drilling that we're doing underneath the Sphinx. In, in, in our first uh, hole here will be underneath the uh, Sphinx's uh, left paw. Perhaps the most visible example of an advanced civilization in Egyptian prehistory is that the Great Sphinx itself. Although the head was quite obviously recarved in dynastic times, the body and the man-made courtyard in which it sits show signs of heavy water weathering. We think that all the indications suggest that a time capsule was deliberately concealed at Giza in Egypt with the intention that it should be found one day, a time capsule that would abolish all ambiguity over this matter and make it absolutely certain of what had gone before and of what we have forgotten. But a time capsule that was not intended to be found by barbarians, that was hidden away very carefully to be found, as the ancient texts say, by the fully worthy. Perhaps that's who we are. Perhaps that time has come. Perhaps that's the decision and the awe-inspiring prospect that we confront in the near future. The right to open the chamber under the paws of the Sphinx is something of a political game these days. And the Egyptian government is holding all the cards. Only they know when and if the secrets of the Sphinx will be revealed to the world.